Hello there, it's Niall Horan and this is Music Lessons on BBC Radio 1. One. So, today I have the task of teaching you guys how to play um, my brand new single, um, Black and White, off my album Heartbreak Weather. Um, and I'm going to try and teach you how to play an acoustic guitar and I'm going to try and keep the theory to a minimum and I'm going to try and teach it how I learned how to play the guitar, which is off YouTube. I still, to this day, have never had um, uh, a guitar lesson. Uh, the guitar players could probably tell because it's not the most, uh, it's not the best way, but I get by and have enough for what I need it for, which is writing songs and playing live. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to try and teach you how to play this song um, if you would like, and you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a pick. A pick is quite important in this song in both the verse and the chorus. Um, and you're also gonna to need to tune your guitar into a tuning called Dadgad, D-modal as they like to call it. Um, so if standard tuning on a guitar is E-A-D-G-B-E, -E, this is gonna be D-A-D-G-A-D. -D -D. And just even open, it sounds lovely. <laughs> Do a retune there myself. Um, okay, okay. So for this one, you're also going to need to keep for for throughout the verse. You're going to need to keep your the strings kind of muted, and to do that, you need to be able to place your hand, this part of your hand, across the bridge of the guitar. So just in front of the strings there, and um, and try and mute the strings as much as much as possible. So so for the first so for the for the verse, and actually, a lot of the chords come early in the song. They just rotate throughout the song. So for the verse, you need your index finger on the third string up on the second fret. You also need this one. So you would slide up from there, from the second to the fourth on the same string. You're going to need to put on the sixth string, your, uh, on the fifth fret, you're going to need to put your uh, middle finger and then your ring finger just pops below it. And what is effectively, if you were to play a normal E chord in normal tuning, you would play it like that. So just slide up to between the fourth and the fifth fret. So that first time we were standing at your door. And back down. Fumbling for your keys, then I kissed you. And then we added another chord now by going up to in the same spot. Going up to between the 6th and the 7th fret, so you just slide up. Ask me if I... And then you, then you need to spread your... You need to spread this out, so you need to just stretch this chord over 3 frets. So you need to stretch it up from... You start, you go... So ask me if I wanna... So when you go to get to wanna, you need to play the same, the same chord just stretched out over... over uh, over three frets, so you'd be going up to the between seven and nine. So you go ask me if, on six and seven. Ask me if I wanna come in. Ask me if I wanna come in. Sorry, I lost my way there for a second. Over seven and nine, and and then back down to your second chord of the song that you played on the, the fourth and fifth fret. So to recap, you need between uh, six and seven. But over this, this, just the same chord, just stretch the touch, and this, that's the one to practice. Ask me if I wanna come inside. Back down to the fourth, cause we didn't wanna end the night. So you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're the same chords, but they, you bounce around a little bit. So that first time we were standing on four and five at your door, back down to two. Fumbling for your keys, then I kiss you. Then the big one up here on sit on between six and seven. Ask me if I seven and nine come inside. Four and five, one and the night. Then you took my hand. Back up the same chords as if and I followed you. So that's your verse. Now your verse and your pre. It's just kind of it's quite once you get your head around which way the chords go, there's a lot of back and forth, you know. Ask me if I wanna come inside Cause we didn't wanna end the night Then you took my hand and 
follow you. One, two, and then you would go into the chorus from there. Same chords, just played in played in different formats. So this one, this chorus is simple. It's all of the chords we just did. You just need to open it up now. So I see us in black and white, stretch crystal clear in the starlit night. So the same chords from the verse, just played in a different pattern. And the, the, the chorus will all, is always going to be those four, the first four that we, we learned basically. And that's the chorus. And then back to the verse, same again in the second verse, same as the first verse. Thou sit in here in your living room. Telling stories while we share a drink or two. By the way, don't get angry at me when um, you're like, stop moving too fast. I just, I've never done this before. So give me a bit, give me a bit of time. Just pause it. That's what I used to do. I used to look at a chord and then just press the space bar and just stop it. So get used to it after a minute. Second verse. Now sitting here in your living room. Same again. Telling stories while we share a drink or two. Same again. A vision I've been holding in. Try and make it obvious there on my fingers. See, can you see it? Over seven and nine. Those. There's a vision I've been holding in my mind. For 65 in the U.S. When it our first snow, I'll always So, same, same chords again. And you kind of always need, in the verse, you always need the... Just always think about your I find that what people d do when they when they when they're meant to play open like really they get really like strict with their strumming and they get like so just do that in the do the opposite you need to just free up your right hand and just concentrate what's going on down here and then this will loosen up and just kind of like forget about what your right hand is doing and just think about the song think about what you're what what like you hear when you listen to that song and maybe play along with black and white because you can clear in the in the verse I can, i'm always doing like the chuggy and all you need to do it for that is and the downstroke is in the and then the chorus opens out to Forget about it. Now we move on to so we've got the first verse uh, and pre and and the sec and the chorus and then the second verse and the the pre-chorus and then we go back into the second chorus again. Open it out. And just leave it nice and loose. On the record itself, I tend to like lay in a bit, so it's a bit more. But when I do these, like I sit around and I play it acoustically, or I tend to just. I'm just kind of chill into it. Uh, okay, so for the, the, the bridge or the middle eight or whatever you call it, wherever you're from in the world, um, we're gonna play the 
the bridge, which is, I want the world to witness. So you would go down to this chord, the second chord we learned over the whole thing. So that E shape just slid up to between four and five. The last chord, you remember? So between four and five, up to seven and nine, back down to six and seven. So. And I want the world to win it when we finally say I do. And keep just going around. That's the whole section of the of the bridge. Those eight bars and just kind of. Sorry if this guitar has gone out of tune. Um, it's quite a slippery tuning, and um, yeah, I've obviously been hitting it quite hard, so. Apologies. Um, so you basically just keep going around there. Uh, for the whole bridge and then just ring out the last. But, but at night when I close my eyes. And then all around just one strum over each bar. All the chords we've taught, we've learned before. The chorus chords. I see us in black and white. Crystal clear on a starlit night You'll never be another I promise that I love you Back into the chorus Um, thank you for for watching. I hope, I'm not sure if it was very good, <laughs> but I hope it was and I hope you learned something. Um, you know, I didn't learn guitar music uh, in like in, in theory, really. I kind of just kind of learned off by watching videos, I guess like this off YouTube and uh, kind of watching where people's hands were and pausing, etc. cetera. Um, and then kind of going from there. But I think I've explained it as well as I could without getting too theoretical and and really complicating things and kind of doing it in, in layman's terms, if you like. Um, but I mean, hopefully that's enough. I hope you like the song, first of all. Um, go stream it, buy it, do whatever you need to do. Um, but in the meantime, go and learn how to play it. So remember, pick dad, gad, muted verse. <laughs> open big choruses uh, but the same chords but once you figure out have a play around and once you can hear play along with the song and once you can hear where each of those chords are in the song they're the same chords throughout the song it just, they just go in they go in different order and once you can figure that out you should be able to get this anyway music lessons on radio one see you soon and stay safe my lovers bbc radio one if you enjoyed this then please like and subscribe it and Click the bell icon to keep up to date. For more great audio and video from the BBC, you can listen on the BBC Sounds app and watch on iPlayer.